Saxcom has issued a statement saying that they have a hardware fix for the Zaxnet uh, board inside the Nova. Both, I guess this applies to both the Nova 1 and 2. So I'm going to make this little modification. I talked to their uh, service people and it looks very simple. Uh, if you're savvy with soldering cleanly on small PCBs, uh, you should probably be able to handle this yourself. Uh, they will do it for you if you want to set it into um, Zaxcom in New Jersey, or you, even if you have a local uh, dealership that might do repairs like this, it's pretty simple. Uh, or even if you just know someone who's pretty good at soldering, they could do it. It's literally just a jumper wire from one point on the board to another point. So I'm going to show you where it is and how to do it. To get a Nova open, you have to remove these two screws, these two screws, all these little ones, and then the exact same thing on the other side. It's worth noting that the screws that live over this F7 key and on the underside here, F10, are a little shorter than all these other little screws. So when you put them back, make sure you put the short ones here and here. And if you have a Nova 2, these two uh, screws have to come off of this uh, DB15 as well. So this is basically a, like a taco shell. Now that it's loose, this guy just comes right off. All right, so this plate is connected here on these four screws, which I just took out. This plate now can come off. Just beware, it is still connected right here. These red and black wires for the fan. Uh, so flip it this way. So this here is the Zaxnet board. This is what we're gonna take off. We have to undo these four outer screws. Do note that under this little foamy spacer they have here. Uh, there's a connection here that goes this way and then it goes taped into here. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull these off first. This just gets pried off gently. I'd put a flathead right under there, underneath and just twist. All right, so we have the four screws out now and um, this looks like it's just kind of floating here. This is a, a bunch of pins that go straight down into the board beneath it. So I'm gonna pull straight up gently, give it a little wiggle while I do it. Putting most of my pressure upward here, pulling upward. There we go. And this is it. So this board is quite a bit smaller than I thought it would be uh, based on the photos they sent. This is a nickel for reference. And so the wire they've recommended is uh, wrapping wire, 30 gauge, and it's very, 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 very thin. The uh, Zaxnet board out of the Nova flipped over. This is what it looks like. And I'll show you the diagram that we got from uh, Zaxcom service department, which uh, shows the route of what we're connecting to what. And I'll just point it out here with some little needle nose tweezers here. Uh, we're going from this inside edge of this component right here, right there, and it's going to travel over to this spot right here. Basically, I've bent my end here into like a little hockey stick, and I'm going to try to run it on the inside of that there very quickly, give it some heat. That seemed to do it. I'm actually gonna push it away just a little bit. I feel like the tip of that is like hanging just a little too far past it. Uh, this is where little tiny tweezers can kind of be helpful. There we go. That pushed it back a little bit like that way. I tinned both ends before I attached either just to make it easy and strip them obviously, then tin them. I'm just gonna bend this a little bit to make it sort of almost like a right angle to help it drop right into that hole dry fit it like that and then I'm gonna hit it from the other side with solder all right we're back on the other side here so here it is popping through the hole there and I'm just gonna clean up the tip and we'll just hit that with a very very tiny little actually I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna run a little so a little uh, flux there first just to Give it something. And here comes the solder. Oh, 
Mm, that looks good. Use my little flush cutter here to snip that little guy off there. And uh, yeah, I think that should do it.